great to be back. I'm Kenji, welcome back to my cocktail kitchen. This section I'm going to be looking at bartenders. I'm going to be doing a, a masterclass, uh, taking that formula a little step and making a couple of drinks. So this is the formula, the base, if you watched the last uh, episode, was about the alcohol. Alcohol is our starting point in obviously not including non-alcoholic cocktails. Uh, so to lift the gin or the whiskey or the rum. Uh, and then the accents. So we looked at the last, we looked at sweet and sour. Uh, it's making a daiquiri, a margarita, caipinha, caipiosca. Just simple, great family-based drinks uh, with that sweet and sour element. We didn't really include any uh, bitterness or saltiness, although I could have added the salt uh, to the margarita and umami. We generally leave to the Bloody Marys uh, of the world. So the next level of the formula are modifiers. So ingredients that really modify the base. So if the base is the alcohol, if we take a whiskey, we accentuate it. We add some lemon juice. It still tastes like whiskey, just a little bit more citrusy. If we add uh, some sugar syrup, obviously you get that syrupy uh, flavor coming through. So which is why uh, base sweet and sour is so great. But then you're thinking, actually, if I use vodka, I can make a, a caipirioska. If I use gin, I'd make a, a gimlet. So we're looking at the, the bitter, sweet, and the mommy. The modifiers really change uh, the flavors. So they come generally in three forms. In bitters itself, like Angostura or orange uh, bitters, uh, in if you add other liqueurs, and if you add different sodas. So if we take a whiskey, we add a little bit of lemon uh, and sugar, um, add some bitters, obviously we can add some egg whites, and we get a whiskey sour. Uh, so if we did gin, lemon juice, uh, sugar, and soda, we get uh, a fizz or a Collins. So those are the key breakdowns, even something like a Cosmopolitan, uh, we get vodka, uh, we get the triple sec, we get the, the lime, uh, and we get the, the orange zest, the burning the orange zest would actually be a modifier over there. But then as you know, as bartenders, ice, ice is the soul of the drink. Uh, the method and how you, you make it, so whether how cold it is will actually affect the taste. Shake it, strain it, stir it, throw it, will all have a, a different element. And obviously the environment that you're drinking in, who you're drinking it with. We talked about texture and the different senses and how that has an effect on flavor. So the formula looks at your spirit, you looks at your accents, your balancing elements, and your modifiers, your bitters, your liqueurs, your sodas, and then all the environmental elements on there. So, time to make a drink. Uh, the first drink I want to make you of two is the Three Rum Daiquiri. I think it was uh, Angus Winchester that first uh, introduced me to this delight, and I love ordering it at bars now. Um, when I'm unsure what to go for, it's my kind of my go-to drink. Ask for Three Rum Daiquiri, i.e. one daiquiri, but with three different rums. And you ask the bartender, uh, and they would say, which rums? And you say, well, it's up to you. And the, the fascinating thing is watching the bartender to say, okay, what three rums will I blend together? Obviously there will mostly be blends already, but I'll be blending three different rums uh, to create a new style uh, of daiquiri. So I looked around in my rum cupboard at home, I chose these three rums. Uh, Zacapa, big fan. Uh, I had some Pampero Anniversary, deep rich flavors. And I thought it'd be quite funny uh, and nice to use Samsung, uh, a Thai uh, rum in there to get a bit of uh, oomph to it. Now instead of using sweet, traditional sweet and sour, I'm going to use Paragon. I've been working with Paragon since January of this year. I think I said last week, I uh, absolutely love it. So it's a luxury cordial uh, from Monin. Uh, obviously you'll, you'll know them from their, their gourmet syrups and purees. But Paragon is a, an amazing step up. It's actually a cordial because it's sweet and sour. You can see on there the bricks level at 55 and the pH level 1.7. Um, so you get that sweet and sour element in it. But the amazing thing is how the character of the flavors kind of carry through from the gluconic acid. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about Alex Retainer going over to Africa and exploring the different flavors and finding the honey, the mukum honey uh, from the, the bees over there. And it's the gluconic acid that brings over. And then the peppers, so each one uh, is a single uh, extraction, so they use a super critical CO2 extraction uh, to compress, get the flavor from the different peppers from around the world. Uh, so this one is Timor berries, so that pepper is from Nepal, uh, Nepal, uh, rue berry from Ethiopia, uh, and the flagship, the white penja uh, from Cameroon. So you've got the, uh, the intensity of that pepper 
not black pepper as we know it. There's over 2,000 types of pepper. Uh, so these are exploring different flavors of the pepper. And you get that lovely sweetness and the monin experts, and you get that uh, acidity as well from the, the gluconic and the flavors, uh, the gluconic acid uh, in there. So I'm gonna use that. Um, and three rums. I'm gonna go with the Timor Berry out of the three. Uh, once lockdown is finished and you wanna try the Paragon, um, please let me know. Happy to come around to your bar and we have a, a good tasting and see what we can come up with uh, for that. So, I've got my shaker at home, got my ice, three rum duckery, parts of kappa, part pampero. Part Samsung. My three rums. Uh, and then the Paragon as my sweet and sour element. Ah. Should have chilled it down. So hopefully you've been thinking, which three rums would I use? So if you like a little challenge, if you've got some rums in your cupboard, in your house somewhere, you can't get hold of Paragon, then obviously use uh, your citrus uh, and your sweetness. And make yourself a three rum daiquiri. Let me know what you've used. I'm actually going to do a little zest of the lime to bring out some of that zesty citrus, lovely flavours, freshness. <laughs> so there we have my three rum daiquiri using the, the Paragon Timor Berry and the three rums. Cheers. Hmm. Tasty. Right, so for my second drink, if we look at the formula, that one was basically the base, but I'm gonna split the base down into three different rums to create a unique base. And the accents, the sweet and the sour, I used the Paragon, uh, so very simple, exploded that one and simplified this one. Uh, simplicity is the key word of the day. For the next one, uh, I'm going to make an ode to the, the Pigu Club. Uh, like you, I may have, uh, you may have heard that uh, the Pigu Club, unfortunately, will not be reopening. Uh, so big shout out uh, to everyone uh, connected to there. Um, so I thought I'd make an ode, utilize the, the Pigu Club, the original Pigu Club recipe from uh, Burma. Uh, so I'm going to use gin. And instead of the curacao, I'm going to switch it out um, for bergamot type of orange. Get those orangey, lovely flavors. I'm gonna use the, the lime and two sets of bitters, Angostura and orange bitters, shaken straight up. So this time, I am gonna chill down. my paragon this time around. I'm going to use tank 10. I'm going to use the uh, moan and bergamot. I'm going to use some fresh lime uh, and I'm going to use my bitters. Great. So I've got my, uh, my shaker. I'm going to use preference. That's 60 ml of T10. 20 ml of the bergamot. Lovely citrus flavors. And 20 ml freshly squeezed lime I had last time. 
A few drops of the Angostura. Two drops of the Angostura orange. Give it a good shake. Sorry if this comes out too loudly. In the video. I'm actually going to use nice clear ice. No excuse to to drop down on your ice quality at your home. It's actually easier to make good ice uh, in your freezer. So I've got a nice ice. I'm going to single strain this one. Use any garnish. Got my nice ice ball to come through. I did um, find one of these in my in my kit, which I always quite find amusing. Lime little zesters. Squeeze that in. It's gonna work for me. There we go. Ooh. See the fresh lime zest coming over the top. Let's have a try. So an ode to the Pigo Club, uh, to all the bartenders and bar owners out there. I hope you do well. Uh, stay strong. Keeping it real. Hmm. Yes. T10. Bergamot. Fresh lime. Bitters. Great drink uh, for today. Uh, the first drink we made was the three rum daiquiri. That's the formula. For the daiquiri base and accents. Here we use gin as the base, the accentuators, got the lime uh, and the, the syrup, and the modifiers, the two types of bitters to create a lovely ode to the Pigo Club. Well that's it for me, so great to see you, thank you.